Hey guys, this lesson is all about lowest common denominators. I'm here with Bruce and Curly, and we're going to find lowest common denominators for a couple of fractions. Check these fractions out. One half, one fourth, and one fifth. We want to find lo a lowest common denominator because sometimes when you're working with fractions and you're doing things like adding them or subtracting them, you need to have a common denominator or else you can't do it. So it's a really important thing to know how to do. Finding a lowest common denominator is a lot like finding a least common multiple. Remember, when we found a least common multiple for the numbers 2, 4, and 5, we wrote out all the numbers that each one divides into evenly. 2 divides into 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, and so on. 4 divides into 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and 5 divides evenly into 5, 10, 15, 20, etc. Now, we found the smallest number that all three of these numbers divide into evenly, and that number was 20. 20 is here, here, and here. And there's no smaller number that 2, 4, and 5 all divide evenly into. That means for 1 half, 1 fourth, and 1 fifth, our lowest common denominator is going to be 20. And now we need to rewrite these three fractions as equivalent fractions with 20 as the denominator. Here's how we do it. First, we'll do 1 half. 1 half equals 1 half times 10 over 10. Now, 10 over 10 is just equal to 1. So multiplying 1 half by 10 over 10 doesn't change its value. It's the equivalent. The reason we chose 10 over 10 is because 10 is the factor that we need to multiply 2 by to get 20. Because 20 is the denominator we want because it's the least common denominator. So 1 half can be expressed equivalently as 10 over 20. Next, let's look at 1 fourth. 1 fourth times 5 over 5 equals 5 twentieths. We chose 5 over 5 because 4 times 5 is 20. And we want to express 1 fourth as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 20. So 1 fourth equals 5 twentieths. Last, 1 fifth. 1 fifth times 4 over 4 equals 4 twentieths. We chose 4 over 4 because we wanted 5 times this denominator is equal 20. And 5 times 4 is 20. So we've rewritten these three fractions as three equivalent fractions with a least common denominator. We did it by first finding the least common denominator and then expressing each fraction as an equivalent fraction with the denominator we found, 20.